so we are back again with the second version of this video please guys and ladies this video was not planned it was impromptu video you will hear some background noise like I said it was not planned uh, the air was a little bit too much in one part of this video but please endeavor to listen very carefully and also I encourage you not to be judgmental because some people will watch the first minute of the video and boom they're leaving messages or leaving comments I encourage you to watch the entire video and leave your thoughts and your comments down below because so many people are going through the same thing that we are going through cultural differences or cultural difference of our kids because you guys Nigerians are over proud I don't know what makes Nigerians over proud we live in the Western world but still there are something that is still in most Nigerians like culture evil Europa. we haven't finished talking about the culture within ourselves and then they're talking about white black Indian yellow green what do you guys have to say about that because joy please for me Okay, AJ, you're married to Newi. Newi people. Ching, I'll get to you later. AJ, how do you see this? You have two amazing daughters. What do you have to say about this cultural difference? That. Why would you tell me? Okay. Um, thanks, one day. So, I. I personally, I experienced something of a cultural difference, even though I'm technically an Igbo, I'm from Agua in Delta State, which is it's not that far away from Nehru, but I, I, didn't, I grew up in Lagos, and I, wasn't, I didn't grow up really in Igbo way, like when I met my husband, my husband is an evil man to the core like no, you know we, this is the traditional everything right so when i first met him um of course we had some you know button of heads things he i'll do he say women don't do that um you know or then evil women so but i found that what worked was wanting to be in a relationship and wanting to learn the other person's culture and try to you understand so at least from my from my point of view i'm when it comes to my kids i'll have i have from my own experience another lens of looking at a different culture because the important thing is do you love this person if you love this person you can make it work by knowing when to accept when to work together and communicate lots of talking my husband he used to tell me those few times we go to the neighbor the first time when i met him you know 7 a.m in the morning say wake up wake up wake up go and put on your makeup somebody is coming and I'll be like, what he said trust me i know Newi people they, you need to be looking your best at all times i didn't get it i'm like i'm in my house 7 a.m in the morning why are you coming to visit me he said forget about that one so i had to decide do i want to be with this man and the answer is yes so i had to work with him so in terms of that i feel that it's doable but you just have to accept and know where you stand, where your husband stands. You decide what's a deal breaker. I can't do this or I can't do that. And communicate what that is so that he knows not to cross the line. You also don't cross the line. And of course, it's not perfect. There are times when it doesn't work. There are certain things that cannot be compromised. But in the long run, you can make it work. We've been together what 21 years, so I think we're getting we're doing something right. So that's that's my take on this. Okay, okay, you have you have six daughters. When I talk about cultural differences here, please, how do you see your children being you and your husband being real poor evil people, Nigerian people? What is your take in your daughters? I'm not even seeing one daughter in your daughters going out of the race. So when I talk about cultural differences, I wanna also attach race 
to that as well. What do you have to say about it, Ogi? Uh, thank you so much, Katia, for directing this question to me. Basically, but the thing is, to me, I think it's better for us to understand that the kids, as I have six kids, they are different. And we already told them, as long as you are happy in whatever you choose, we have to be conscious because we don't know. For instance, I'm using myself as an example. As the only child, I was not allowed to leave my village. They expect me to be in my village to marry from to marry where? from my village i'm not supposed to leave because i'm only one person so my father wants me to but i'm certain i wasn't able to be in his church so you have six daughters what will you have to say if a different race that let's I'm, say indian come to I'm marry i'm coming to that okay i'm coming to that so when my husband come, when my husband came for me i have no option because the love is there, right? And I accepted him. My family members weren't happy, but at the same time, they were like, okay, since he's an evil person, it's the same state, but it's different village. They accept, right? For my kids, in my own perspective, I know not Hey, see our <laughs> husbands <laughs> are bringing <laughs> blankets. <laughs> That's what we're telling you guys here. The husbands are doing well. You that we are called. Oh, God bless you. about the race issue honestly I don't want <laughs> I don't want to talk about this race issue because to me I do not want them to go outside evil culture I've just been honest but if it happens they find someone else from a different race that makes them happy and that person happens to be opposite sex. Oh, praise the Lord, opposite sex. I love how you come to say it because things. <laughs> because there's a certain things happening, but that's my take for it. I will just leave it at it. Initially, I didn't want the race thing, but if it happens, they choose to have to go to Indian, Chinese. Russia, as long as it's not the same sex, as long as it's not the same, and Thank they are you. happy in the relationship, that's another thing. Because if they are not happy, it's a no go area. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Yes, Chinwe, please, um, call Newi man you are married to. Please take us down the take us down the road. To <laughs> So what do you think about this Maybe cultural? I'm going to be watching this one. Then. Go ahead. Cultural you. difference. You have a beautiful daughter. You have two sons. If your daughter come tomorrow and tell your husband, I know how close you know Ada is with daddy and stuff. Daddy, I meet a different race. I'm going to marry to Kafan Chan. What do you think your husband will say? like that before then I started saying my sons bring in Spanish here and they were happy with them I was thinking about Nigerian girls but uh, I have a different mindset now I don't know about my husband but me I'm, I'm kind of you're open I'm, I'm open okay. because I see um, the changes in them 
before when my son's girlfriend would visit the house, my son is a different person. There's no noise in the house. So whatever makes them happy, mm -hmm. I'll go for that. So, yeah. So if happiness is what matters, yeah. if I yeah. force them to go to somebody else and, and there's no happiness in them, but I see the changes. Like I see my son changing when this girl is around. Thank you, Chinwe. So Sana, I, I know you have a granddaughter and uh, you have cute, cute. Oh my God, our, ki our kids are so mm. cute. I wish we can bring all the kids together. Yes. We are all white yes. and take pictures it's with so them, nice. but it's I don't so nice. know. You guys need to see our children. Please follow us on social media so much. that you can 22. see the children. And so Tosa, Tosa, please yes, tell so us what do you think about this cultural difference or race issue that we're talking about here? So I think for me, uh, which is which has always been key for me, um, we shouldn't be judgmental. In our kids should be able to bring in any culture, woman that you like, whether Nigerian, and even in the Nigerian culture, we still have other cultures, whether it's Ghanaian, whether it's uh, any of the African countries or. European, Caucasian, Portuguese. You know, we have a lot of roots. Even us as black, we are, we are our roots is into Portuguese and all these things. So most of these people, they have the same cultures that we have. It's just that we have different, our skin color is different. We should allow them be, bring the women, a good woman that is God-fearing, that will be part of our culture, that we can teach, that teachable, that, you know, because some, some kids, so they bring girls that you can't even teach them. Before they come in, they already mm -hmm. say that, oh, we are like this, so mm -hmm. take us like this. And, you know, and for me, I just like leave my kid. My, my sons have dated Chinese girls and Caucasians, and initially it was hard for me, but I just said, you know what, for me, if I want my kids to be happy, which is key, I have to let them be. And I encourage them, I advise them, I tell them to take their girlfriends to church. You know, make them know that you are you are you be proud of your your Jesus, your church boy. Project Christ in your relationship, you know. So um yeah, because, okay. um, some Nigerian parents are just they have this mindset that oh my son cannot marry anybody that is not Nigerian from my village or from my country or from my city or whatever. I think it's wrong because there are deeper issues that we Nigerian women we don't even want our kids to go there. And that's another issue we can't even talk about mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Because in this part of the world, it's a different ball game mm -hmm. entirely. Mm -hmm. okay. So the most important thing is to be open-minded, accept the girls that our kids come in with, and then see if they are teachable, if they, are, if they really love them. Let them go along with them, and that's the most important thing. Like so much mind. for that. Eunice, can you just take us through to the same cultural differences? You have two amazing daughters as well, and boys two boys and two girls. What is your own take on your children getting outside the race? Okay, so I'll just uh, say this quickly. So my my take is um, I would like them to marry from my village. That's like to narrow it down. And also to marry from Nigeria. That's my preference. But it doesn't mean that I will be against them if they have to find somebody or somewhere, somebody outside of our race that they love. Um, I'll be supportive, but I think it's the, mo the most important thing that I have done with my children is to talk to them um, About what they want like what kind of relationship they are looking for or what kind of a woman they are looking for So when they go out there and they bring somebody I knew already I know already that my kids know what they are looking for So whoever that they bring home I know that is who they know or they feel that they can work out something with and and all I do now is to pray. Yes. I just pray to God to help them to find their missing bone. And that yeah. can come in a Caucasian and, woman. That's and that can girl. come anywhere, <laughs> right? It can come I have everything. Anybody can be that bone. That's that village girl. So that's the, that's the last thing I want to say before we close this. Toss, I'm sorry. The last thing I want to say before we close this is this is my own perception. This something deeper than the race and the, and the culture. We are mixing the family upbringing because you could be from Unewi, you can be Igbo person or Yoruba to Yoruba, but if your parents didn't raise you well, we have a culture. But there are people like Tosan said who are not that our people, but they are open to learning. 
five or four sitting here, you can attest that there are Jamaican people that are married to Igbo men. That is better. 200% better than Nigerian or to Igbo Nigeria. women. Yeah. They will buy their ticket and go to Nigeria. They are very teachable. They are very learnable. They speak Igbo. Their children have all Nigerian names. They are willing to, to learn. learn. So yes. what we have to focus on is integration. Are they really ready to integrate into you? Just and said some people are willing to learn and some people are not willing to learn. My kids, you guys sitting here know my big son and the girlfriend and stuff like that. When we talk, there's one thing he always tell me. Joyce started with knowing God. My son said that the first thing we, are, we must focus on is the religion. We, we parents, we always forget about that. How about if they are Igbo, they are married Igbo people, and they are not the same religion. You are Christian and he's Muslim. That's a big drama there so i think the first thing is the family upbringing and then we have to focus on the religion and then the girl that you're planning to bring into your household we must have talk on one-to-one -one on the table this family you're welcome because even we here when we first got married i'm sure that our mother-in-laws called us and tell us how things run in this household so the first thing we have to do as parents is to tell the woman you see this the household is family oriented we welcome you here but this 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 and that is how it works here if you are learnable we will teach you we are very if you are we are teachable you and you teach could be yeah. learnable this is the first thing we because the, some of them are ready to bend a little bit just to come into our family but when we come and close the door so tight once they come they are not ready to listen to you. Mm -hmm. You can't teach them anything. So I think it's better to have open mind mm -hmm. and call them and tell them, we love you. This is how it goes in our family. Mm -hmm. Integration. Mm -hmm. Are you willing? Mm -hmm. You know? You see? Yeah. 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 Don't add that. They're integrated. They're learning about your culture. Mm -hmm. We should also be open to learning mm -hmm. their, their own, own culture. culture. So we can try to meet each other halfway yeah. very because true because nobody's culture is better than the other mm -hmm. but if you learn mine i should be able to learn yours very true right. very so true the thing is that i think that we women we are very easy like uh, more than our men our husbands most of us here our husbands are we, 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 that is in a who they will tell you is this is that but also this is one of the reasons why most of the nigerian girls don't get married because they are 30, they are 35, their father keeps telling them, you must marry a Yoruba man, you must marry a Igbo man. At the time, time goes, yeah. they yeah. miss their opportunity to marry who they want to marry. So I think that most parents need to self-pedal. They need to self-pedal. Whoever our children is going to bring, we have to be with them, bless them, give them guidance. Like I just said, some non-nigerians are married into our society into our community and they are doing extremely well and we have trained the children already they are very smart right if it's not working they will drop it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so and we pray and over, we that. Pray over that. Mm -hmm. yeah so, so they know if it's not working they don't have to be in it so, so we are, that is going on means that they know that it's going to work or yes. working for them they are happy so they will continue that relationship mm -hmm. so we have so to support them and be supporting mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> What do you so, mean by being on time? What I mean by being on time hey, is that, you know, our kids sometimes think that they are going to get young, they are going to be young forever. Oh, and okay. I always have to tell my daughter that, listen, women are like flowers. Forget yes. that I look like this. Mm. I work hard to mm. be like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't know how it's going to be for you. I'm so you have to that. step up your game even mm. more. Yeah. Because the woman do you understand? degenerates every day. So, you know, mm. they have to understand that women really don't have time. Men have time. A man can be 60 or 70 and still go for a 25 years old. Yep. Yep. Let us just give them all the encouragement yeah, that we have to. Sometimes, you know, most of our kids are dating, but they are not open to bringing their, their boyfriend or girlfriend oh, to the yeah. house because mommy or daddy will always judge them. Mm -hmm. Let us encourage them with what is going on in the society now yes. before they bring That's you the same I sex. Learned. I learned not to judge. If if Ejiku, the last one is 20, I keep saying, bring me the girl, Bikon. You are in university. Bring me the girl. God was so kind. He brought some. <laughs> 
ask somebody for my <laughs> say thank you lord before it becomes a different the same <laughs> sex <laughs> 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 tell me yes. he has a girlfriend yes. Hey. 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 So bring yes hey. please bring 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 as long as I know <laughs> it's opposite sex. Now that they're teaching, you bring, you bring, stop. Bring, bring your village stop. girl. Find yes. your village girl. Look. Yeah, no, you have, 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 have a lot of friends that are from your village. <laughs> Beg, we are Nigerian so people. We people. are not trying Get to together. discriminate, but you know we are who we are. We it will be better for our people to marry opposite sex. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, 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 Lord,